headed to work again. Um, supposed to order today. Supposed to be a nine to four shift. We'll see. Fingers crossed. I'm tired. I'd like to go home at the right time. Well, I'm aggravated. Um, we decided to get a house phone um, through our internet provider, which is Time Warner. Um, and I didn't want to pay the extra $40 fee or whatever it was for them to send somebody out to install it for us. Since we already have the internet, all we needed was someone to install the phone. So I went ahead and ordered it online and they sent me the the box and everything in the mail and then I was supposed to connect it and then send it back. Well, so last night I connected the box, the new box because it came in the mail yesterday and um, when I connected everything, internet worked, everything worked except for the phone service. So I spent the better part of two hours talking to tech specialists trying to get the phone to work and it wouldn't work. So the solution from the tech guy at the end of the whole thing was, well, we can't get the phone signal to the box. So let, we're going to have to schedule an appointment for a tech specialist to come out and see what's up. So basically I'm stuck paying the fee anyway because it's not working and it's not my fault it's not working I did everything the way I was supposed to so now I have to call and make an appointment for them to come out to the house and find out what's up and basically it's got to be a time when both Cliff and I are home and can figure out what's going on and everything so, luckily I got the internet to work, because if I didn't, then I, they would have been bad. But, because basically I use my internet for videos, I use my internet for everything. So, and so does Cliff. So, so <clears throat> when I get done recording this video, I have to call and make that appointment. And I just know that when I call, it's going to be days before they can come out. I know it. I just do. That's always how there's these places work and uh, I'll be surprised if I speak to anybody who can speak English because I have a trouble finding anybody to do that as well I got home yesterday and made dinner and I didn't really know what to make and I wanted something relatively simple so I ended up making fish sticks and um, mac and cheese and a salad side salad um, I haven't had fish sticks in forever, um, but last time we went to Costco, Sarah saw them and she wanted them because she likes fish sticks, so we got a bag from Costco, and, um, when I'm working and Cliff's working and I need something quick to cook, I usually cook, like, chicken nuggets or fish sticks, so made some fish sticks. I haven't had them since I was a little kid and I didn't want to cook anything else special so I ate a couple fish sticks in the salad and she ate mac and cheese and fish sticks in the salad. Of course she didn't. She didn't eat that much of the salad but she ate enough to appease me because she knew she had to. I don't really have that much more to talk about. Like I didn't even turn on my TV last night. I didn't do anything. I came home, cooked dinner, ate, sat there, and hooked up that stupid internet thing and spent two hours with tech specialists trying to figure it out and then ended up going <coughs> um, to bed. I tried to watch a few videos on YouTube and I think I fell asleep three times and the only reason why I woke up was because the phone fell out of my hand and hit the floor and I heard it and it startled me so it woke me up. I'm telling you. I realized yesterday when I left for work I had started some laundry and 
I forgot to have Sarah or Cliff put the clothes in the dryer. I completely forgot about it. Now I forgot about it when I got home yesterday because I was so tired. So ended up leaving them in there and lo and behold this morning all of my clothes were wet and not dried. So luckily I had some clothes to wear to work but if I wouldn't have had what I have on now in the closet still I would be screwed right now. So um, anyway the clothes were still in the washing machine wet and they kind of started they didn't smell mildewy all the way, but they were starting to smell that way, so I just washed them again. And then I asked Sarah that she's gonna be home and her daddy has to go to bed for work. I asked her, I was like, could you make sure that you put these clothes in the dryer and when I get home, I'll put them away. So she's gonna do that for me. Um, I, I don't normally forget stuff. I'm telling you, this is messing with me this week. But anyway, um, don't really have that much left to talk about for the day. If anything interesting happens at work or whatnot, I will, you know, add to the video like I always do. If not, I hope everybody has a wonderful hump day, hump day, and I will see y'all tomorrow for day 29 bye hey guys so off work headed home and I thought I would add on to the video and do like one of the prompts um, since I haven't really done any of the prompts and one of the prompts was discuss your pet peeves well working in retail I have several pet peeves um, one, when I'm wearing a blue vest and it has a name badge on it and it's a Hobby Lobby vest and someone walks up to me and says, do you work here? Mm -mm. I, I just like the vest. Um, two, when I'm ringing someone out and when I tell them how much their total is, they put the money, just throw the money down on the counter or put the money on the counter, especially change and expect you to like pick it all up instead of just handing it to you. The worst thing ever that happens at work is, can you tell me where the bathroom is? I understand that you might have to look around in your surroundings to find out where the bathroom is, and it might be a lot of work to walk to the back of the store or walk around the store till you find it. I'm not one who asks where the bathroom is. I will look till I find it and then go to the bathroom. I don't understand why that's so difficult for people. <coughs> I can guarantee you that I, I get asked where is the bathroom at least 20 times a day, if not more. I can mark it down how many times I get asked. It's ridiculous amount. <coughs> and I'm not the only one. A lot of my coworkers get asked too. We all get it. I don't like spit. Uh, I know that's kind of weird, but I grew up with three brothers and all three of them spit. They, I mean, just randomly, I don't know why guys do this, but they just randomly spit in the yard when they're talking or whatever. And I don't understand that. And it grosses me out. Spit grosses me out. Louis and stuff like that. It all grosses me out. I don't understand it. I hate when people hawk and ugh, all that stuff. It's just gross. I, it makes me like literally I will gag. Smacking. I can't stand that. Talking with food in your mouth. I can't stand that. Um, and Sarah has a really bad habit of doing it. She smacks and um, not all the time, but she's and she's working on it. And uh, she likes to talk with food in her mouth. And I have to get her not to do that <coughs> or try to anyway. 
Um, smoking, I'm not a fan of smoking. Uh, my grandma has COPD and emphysema from smoking. My grandfather has COPD. Um, I grew up with everybody around me smoking. And I'm just, it's not my thing. I don't like it. I can't stand the smell of cigarette smoke. It gets into everything. Like, I can, I used to go to my grandparents' house, walk in there, and be there for like five minutes, walk out, and it would be in my clothes, on my hair, everywhere, and you would smell like you're the one who was smoking and you're not. I can't stand it. So, like, there's no smoking in our house, there's no smoking in our cars, and there's just, no, I don't like cigarette smoke being around me. It's not really a pet peeve, but it annoys me that they don't teach cursive writing in school anymore. Sarah has no idea how to draw, write in cursive. She barely writes now um, in print well. Um, it's more, it's sloppy. Um, and they used to, and when I was in school, it was a big thing to write legibly. And um, they really worked with you and taught you how to write in cursive and in print. And she has no idea how to write in cursive. They never taught them. I guess they don't teach it in school. I guess it's not important. Important. Um, to me it is. I don't know. I don't, I'm probably going to teach her and work with her on her handwriting. Because her handwriting is not well. Not really well um, off. Like she doesn't space her words out like it's all like a one run on word you know and there's no spaces in between and stuff like that so it's kind of frustrating um so anyway that's not really a pet peeve mm. oh another pet peeve talking on the phone while you're at the register talking on the phone when you ask a customer or when a customer asks you a question and they're on the phone they're like, and talking and putting their finger out and telling you, hold on a second. And, you know, you're sitting here trying to do something and you walked up and asked if I, I could help you, but you're going to make me wait on you to ask me a question. That's just rude. Um, or, like, I'm ringing somebody up and they're on the phone and you have to ask them, you know, how are you doing? Um, would you like a bag? Uh tell them how much the total is, tell them to have a nice day, ask them if they need anything else, stuff like that. You have to do that kind of stuff, at least in my line of, where I am in my line of work. And uh, they're on the phone talking, oh, da, 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 da. and you're like, really? Really? Talking in the, on uh, the phone while you're at a restaurant, eating. Like... And texting on the phone while you're at a restaurant. Like, if you're there with your family or your loved one and you're sitting on your phone texting and you're not even paying attention to the people around you that you're there to spend time with, what the heck? Like, what's the point? You could eat anywhere. You could sit in the car and eat on the way home or something. And You know what I mean? Like what's the point of having a get together or dinner with someone if you're not even going to acknowledge their existence that is the silliest thing I've ever seen in my life um like I don't know I just don't understand the point and it's so it, it just amazes me when you go to a restaurant you sit there and there's 15 people at a table and it's like a whole family thing and all of those people are on their phones or talking on the phone or something and they're just not even communicating drives me crazy drives me crazy okay um that's pretty much it thought i would just drop you a line tell you i'm alive and share a little bit of randomness uh, to go along with my boring blog vlogs that i just sound like a broken record on um and uh headed home and gonna eat some supper and I don't know what else I'm gonna be doing but um 
I'm going to try to get this video up quickly. Last night, it took forever. But it had to do with my internet being messed up, too, for some of that time. But anyway. Okay, so hope you all have a great rest of the evening. Um, hey, and if you get a chance, like, comment below and let me know what your pet peeves are. Or uh, make a, a video response with your pet peeves. I'd love to hear what your pet peeves are. I'm sure I have 50,000 more that I can uh, talk about, but I'm just blanking out and can't think of all of them. All right. Well, see y'all later. Bye.